Okay guys, today we're gonna make some oat wraps. Okay, first off, we're gonna separate our one cup of oats. Now we're gonna take a few minutes to blend our oats. Okay, now we're gonna sift our flour. So add the powder that you got from the blending into your sieve. And you're just gonna sift it out so the larger oat particles can remain and we could get this lovely consistency flour that we're looking for. Okay guys, this is the exact consistency that we're looking for. Soft to touch and the powder remains on your finger. Okay, so now we're gonna add some salt. I use seasoning salt, but you could use any type of salt that you like. We're gonna add in our cup of hot water and the water should be very hot so please do not use your hands to mix and as you could see right here i'm using my spoon to bring the flour and the water together it should get very sticky and firm when it's firm enough we're just going to try to bring it together into somewhat something like a ball and then leave it for 10 minutes to cool off So we add half a teaspoon of oil. Now this is the part where your hands get dirty, okay? You're gonna dive in, grab our dough, and just try to knead it a little. It's not like um, our normal wheat flour, but we're still gonna mold it a little more to get that kind of perfect, smooth, round ball. And then, as you can see right here, it's nice and smooth, not as sticky as it was initially. So it was important to cool it. So when you're done, sometimes you might need a little extra flour. So make sure you have flour to add to your dough if necessary. So when we're done, we're going to break up our dough into six pieces. So we little golf size balls roll them up and we should get something around that size flatten them up and we get ready to roll them out so here we get our sandwich bag we cut it up we add some oil on the inside we place our dough and use whatever rolling um, equipment you have to just roll it out here I'm using my lovely water Okay, so we're gonna roll this out a little more, but it's important that we don't roll it out too thin because when it's too thin, it's a little more difficult to maneuver and transfer into our hot pan. So now that our pan is hot, it's time to remove this and transfer. So after about a minute, if your pan is hot enough, you should see some air pockets. So we're just going to press them down. And then you could add your hand like I did. Feel our wraps. Okay. We just leave it for a few seconds again. And what you know, the outsides will start to lift off the pan first. So once the outsides or the outskirts of your wrap is lifting off, it's almost time to flip it over. So you just play with it a little and then it's time to flip it right around to the other side. As you could see, there is not too much of a coloration, but it's good enough. Important that we keep our flexibility in our wraps. So Okay, so I'm going to check it one more time and now we could see the other side is just about the same and we're going to look for a little more browning. Okay, we're going to try another one. I'm going to place this here and if you could look on the outskirts of our wrap, you could see the wrap slowly lifting off the surface of the pan. So we know it's time to flip. I'm going to go right under there, flip it over and you could see the lovely browning. And yeah, basically we leave it for one more minute and we're gonna get these lovely, flexible, delicious oat wraps. Okay guys, so we're done with our six wraps. 
You can enjoy it with chicken, beef, fish, or whatever vegan sauce or filling that you like. So please try it out and leave your comments below. Hit the like button and please subscribe for more gluten-free lotion videos.